I have control. Your controls. All right, so either close your eyes or look down. Okay. At the end of last month's video, I was kind of pondering whether I should try and get my private license sooner than later, or whether I should just wait and kind of get it eventually. Um, I think I decided to just blitz it and get it done as quickly as possible. And the reason is because I would rather pass or try and take the next flight test and hopefully pass it um, while I'm still flying regularly and while I'm still like kind of used to it and not have to play catch up later to get to the point where I am now. What that means is that there's some extra requirements that I need. So I had to do some extra uh, cross country stuff, some instrument time, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's what you're going to see in this video. You're going to see some very exciting stuff. I finally go under the hood, or the sticker in my case, which you'll see in a second, um, and I start doing some instrument work. The bad news is, right in some audio issues, um, <laughs> this is what happens when I don't check, the, you know, when you use a plane that everybody uses and I don't check the audio set, the audio levels. So when we talk about instrument flying, what we basically have to do is sort of simulate not being able to see outside. So you kind of have to like cover your eyes or whatever. So fortunately, with my flying, my fancy flying eye sunglasses, hashtag not sponsored, they provide this little sticker for you that you can put on your sunglasses that so you can't see outside it forces you to look at the instruments. Uh, also did some steep turns, did a couple of spins, also flew into Kelowna, did this because I had to get more uh, cross-country time with an instructor and, you know, kind of flew under the hood there and flew under the hood back to try and give me more instrument time. Had a decent landing in Kelowna too. Also, Riley wanted to make sure I did some practice doing coordinated turns. He did them much faster than I did. Um, not being able to see outside while he was doing that was a little bit, uh, you know, not good for the tummy. At one point we were doing instrument work and I completely forgot where we were. I had no clue where we were or where we were head headed or whatever. At one point I had a minor medical emergency. My eye just started stinging randomly, so that was the whole thing. But I did have one very, very nice landing. Uh, it was just smooth as silk. Lovely landing, it was great. So yeah, those are some of the highlights for my instrument training from the flights where the audio didn't work. Um, but now here is some stuff from the flight where the audio did. More of a commercial item, but we can uh, introduce it, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's that? What failed? Um, so that's my, uh, the, uh, well, the vacuum system pressure failed because the gyros failed in my attitude indicator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that your vacuum system, your vacuum pump failed. Yeah. All right. So you're welcome to glance up at your compass to make sure you're on heading. Okay. But it only works when you're perfectly stable. Right. So you got to make sure we're holding it stable there. So I'm trying to make sure I'm level, I'm roughly level here. Uh, wait yeah, you're on heading, so you're good. Okay. What if you needed to make a turn? Uh, that thing doesn't work. Uh, well, I could time it, I guess. Oh, uh, there you go. So let's put your mode on your timer over to timer. How long will it take for you to make a turn to north? Here's your heading. I just uh, put this to east, which you're at. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So start your timer. Start your roll. Rate one, clear left. Thank you. And just hold it wingtip right on the top of the rate one. That's where our rate one is. It's a little finicky. Don't worry about trying to fix a little impurity. Just fly. And wait till 30. When it hits 30, roll level. Okay. Don't worry about the timer. Okay. okay. Tell me when you're level. Take a glance at your compass. Oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> that's pretty yeah, dang that's pretty good. Close. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to try and disorient you. <laughs> this, is, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Recover. Power up. So full power. Uh, wings level. Attitude where? To cruise. There, there we go. Speeding 
up, picking up. All right. Did you expect that? I did not. I would have, I would have thought we were going to be pulling down. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Perfect. All right. I have control. Your controls. Power idle, then wings level. Right. RP power idle. RP power idle. Recover. Power idle, wings level. Right to cruise. Good, 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 good. Very nice. There, 100, start putting in some power. RP down. Alright. Good work. Thanks. Thanks. Take the hood off. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I wasn't sure. Some people love it, some people get nauseous. So I was like, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> well, that sums up my time under the hood. Um, yeah, it was basically a lot of that stuff. Super cool too. I actually really enjoyed it. Like it was really, I spent so much time with my instructor telling me to look outside because my default is to look at the instruments and see what's going on. So instrument flying, kind of my jam. Of course, it'll be a long time before I actually get the instrument rating, but... I'll gloss over that for now. Now, so going forward, basically the plan is, you know, just keep working toward the PPL, keep grinding out all the requirements, get ready for the flight test, that sort of thing. Do have some exciting things planned for future videos, uh, which I don't want to talk about in case it doesn't happen. Um, so I won't. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this month's video. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. Stop messing with my tram! <laughs>